is an all-in-one solution. This is Smart Assist, an all-in-one solution for QTake. Everything you need is inside the box. It's a touchscreen, which makes it very user-friendly. It's a really tough touchscreen. It has a built-in reading lamp. It has independent headphone output with independent volume, which is underneath. Uh, although it's a touchscreen, you can always lock it so that the touchscreen stops working if you'd rather use a keyboard or a mouse. It has built-in Wi-Fi antenna, so it can create its own hotspot. And all you need is inside, right? So you have the two camera inputs, proce fully processed output, so effects, CDL, slots, whatever, analog outputs, time code in and out, balanced audio in and out. USB 3, because uh, internally we have one terabyte SSD video drive, but you can of course extend it and use external pen drives, keyboards, dongles, whatever peripherals you want to use, Ethernet connection if you want to hook up several systems connected to a motion control system, whatever. Four power inputs, one, two, three, and four. Only one of them is needed at a time, anything from 10 to 30 volts. And a regular camera battery will last for about one hour if you put one of those big bebop batteries will last for two hours and a half. You have two 12 volt output uh, which are regulated so no matter what you put 10 to 30 volts there will always be 12 volts. We always use industry standard connectors so it's the usual limo, limo two pin connectors. And uh, besides that it's, uh, it's the powerful QTEC that you've always known. Uh, this unit has been out for about two years now, shooting things like Spider-Man 007, Run All Night, uh, the making of Benur lately that is being reshot in Italy right now. Uh, lots of stuff around the world, commercials for Mercedes, Ferrari, Chanel, whatever, you name it. And uh, le the latest uh, stuff, new software-wise, is that we have, uh, let me find it, we have QTEC server, which means we can uh, do independent playback from from those devices, right? So I can play back independently whatever is stored inside. So right now the unit is in playback mode, but uh, I can just browse by saying shot, play it back, whatever. So. I'm playing back just files that are stored here and then that are immediately pushed to our system. I can also see live video if I want. We can have dual screen and do a, two different playbacks or live against playback. We can see all of the uh, live video as well. So this is something quite new right now. We're presenting also that we've just recently joined the iTechnology by Cook, so we're reading all of the metadata that the cameras will send us, so you can know live and record it by every single frame, focus, is and zoom of every single frame, and camera settings, so ISO, shutter, white balance, look, if it's got built-in ND filters, you know what ND filters are stored. So you have immediate repeatability, if you have to integrate CGI, you know exactly what the camera settings were for every single frame.